Okay, so what I'm thinking here is chin is a key point. It's that already we have a heart-shaped face, but there's a little bit of a junction between the cheek and the chin that makes the chin look a little bit lonely sometimes. So I just want to harmonize that and make this one smooth, continuous shape, which involves a little bit of volume here, maybe a little bit of mental crease, not very much. Then this key point underneath the mandibular ligament. At the mandibular ligament, you get a little junction. And if I can blend that in, it'll help. Um, I don't actually, I was wondering about adding volume here, but it looks like there's reasonable volume here already. So I can't do a lot. I might be able to do a little bit just at the, on the gonial angle. So it's this point, this point, um, and then blending the chin in up here that will make the lower face look a little bit, little bit more confluent. Going to that junction point now. When I massage there, I also just squeeze that product slightly in the direction I want it to be. That looks straight now. The oral commissure here is very hard because there's a lot of, it's essentially the end point of lots of changes. So you directly treating it helps, but it's never completely the final answer. Gently in, very little resistance, which is good. It sometimes isn't like that in this area. You get either in the wrong layer or just a bit of adhesion. So I'm up to the oral commissure. And I'm just trying to support the oral commissure. This will make it easier when we come to directly treat this area that there's a bit of support underneath. right underneath where the chin is defined as separate from the cheek here. Now we just go slightly above the chin, mental crease. This little fat pad here beneath the lateral lip. Same again, just massaging just to keep this straight. help that you smile if you smile again for me. So maybe this little crease here is quite important aesthetically. If I can get that to not come out, then she'll blossom more when she smiles.
I went a bit more superficial there in the dermis. Strengthen that a bit more. That's worked. Let's do this little line here. Chin strap lines often come out disproportionately well compared with other lines. I don't know what it is, but they just like to come out. 